Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so, um, I am going to do a mani. Um, yesterday, yes, yesterday, I received some nail mail, and this is from Everly Dips. Um, she sent me a couple samples to try out. Uh, this is Estes Park, and if I'm butchering the names, I apologize. I, I don't know. So, this one. Look at this, it's gorgeous. And it's got these cool little, I think they're pink. So, leaves, like holographic. They got glitters and... So that's the one. And then this one is Mesa Verde, Verde? Mesa Verde? I think that's French for green. I'm, I, I'm guessing I might have to look that up. I'm gonna Google this afterwards because Google is my friend. And look at this gorgeous color. I'm not like a huge green person, but this one is actually quite pretty. And it's got a shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyway, enough babbling. Let's get to it. Um, just gonna put them in these little container. Um, I just got them in my, in case I spill, because you know me, I spill everything. Um, on my, on my nails, I have I'm going to do my previous video. I am using the Dash Dashing Diva Nail Guards. Um, so I did a separate video on me applying them. This is my second time trying them. So if you want, go check out that video. I did try them once before. My first impressions uh, went pretty good. This time went even faster. So I'm very pleased. Okay. So, to do do, what am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna do the two green and then the two purple, and then I might do like a an ombre. Let's see how that goes. So, I'm gonna do the pour over method, uh, especially because the one is um, got the glitter. So I have my Cure Sky and then I have my, this one, I got this off of Amazon. I like this one way better than the Cure Sky. I like that this, I have this and this one does, it just comes with the two. So, eh, hey, personal choice and this one's cheaper. <laughs> okay, enough. Enough, enough bubbling. So I'm using my triple D liquids. Should probably do it over here. I'm trying to get myself all set up. So yeah, I wanted to try these uh, Dashing Diva nail guards again and these dips just came in yesterday so it was like oh perfect I'm like so awkward <laughs> I'm just going to dip that side in there. Yeah, it's good. So it's got a shimmer in it, so I'm pretty sure we can chrome with this one. I haven't tried that yet. I will have to. So. Um, Everly Dips, has, she's got a, some new colors coming out. On Saturday the 17th at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Hopefully I'll get this video up in time for you. But every Saturday usually she comes up with new dips, which is kind of cool. I know I put way 
doing too much on there. So look at that color. So good coverage, considering I'm kind of doing the awkward child thing. I don't know if this one's dry enough yet. Hang on one sec. Okay, so I think it's dry enough yet. It's a beautiful color. So, and it goes on really nicely. Just put that over there. Do, 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 do. And I am putting, this is my, doing everything uh, with my non-dominant hand. So that is why I'm a little more awkward. That's okay, do you know? So if you do order from Everly Dips, I also have a discount code. Um, it's always listed down below. I list, I think it is. I, I gotta double check. I can't remember, but it's Girly Nails 10. So I try and whatever discount codes, I always try and get them to be the same. Just so well, for one, it's easy for me to remember, and then that way it's easy for you guys to remember as well. Oh, brush. This one. So I'm only going to do two tips because that's all I need. It's, uh, that's a great coverage, and it's got such a lovely shimmer. So yeah, um, she asked us what colors we wanted, and you know, at first I kind of picked, and then I'm thinking, you know what? No, I am just just send me color, you know, and actually did really well. I didn't even have to use my um, my little pick my water marble tool. Okay, so let's um, put the lid back on so I don't knock it over. Did a little tiny bit right there. So no big deal. Look, it's like a purple, purple, purple. Just fun to see. I'm just kind of concentrating so I don't hit my sidewalls everywhere. Okay, 
This one has a shimmer to it as well. This one's pretty. So I'm gonna put a weird bumpy thing. Okay, wasn't sure if I hit record or not. <laughs> Here, oh, I better double check. Okay, so those two. Dump this guy back in here. Yeah, these guys are, are great for doing the um, pour over method. So, um, especially I've noticed um, one of the girls. Um, suggested do the pour over method when especially when you do it with glitters it really helps and um, I find with the pour over method I'm not um, it's thinner like everything seems to um, Everything seems to lay flatter and my nails thinner, like I don't have to worry about thick and lumpy bumpy. So which is very helpful. problems with the tappy tappy mouth <laughs> with my my other hand it's like okay and I use them um, a thicker uh, brush I saw some girls using a toothbrush and then I think I saw Rachel from Ra Rachel at Schmidt she was using one of these brushes and I'm like oh I have one of those let's do that So it's kind of like a toothbrush. So I got some wayward glitter right there. That's okay. I'll file it off. Okay, let me get that. Just doing is just getting my other brush just to get the like little fine um, shimmery stuff off. And once I wash up my hands, all the all the shimmer. So, I'm kind of liking that. Okay. At least she sent me colors. Uh, hopefully they go, <laughs> they go together. They do now. Okay, so let's let's do like a little ombre. So I'll get these guys. Let's get little tappy tappy brushes. So I got this one and this one. Hang on one sec. Okay, I think I'm good now. Okay, so let's let's do it. I've only done this a few times. Cause I'm doing it with my left hand, so I'm like a little awkward. Let's do the purple first, I guess. Let's 
So I try and hold it almost to the side and then I kind of concentrate it and then we'll go this way. It's not too bad. Just going down around my cuticles just to make sure. Okay. One second. Okay. So I don't really want to contaminate these, so I'm just going to brush it off up there. So what do you think? That's not too bad. Just push my nail guard down. I think it's kind of popping up. That looks like a pretty ombre. So let's do it again. So this time I'm going to do the green first. So I'm just kind of concentrating it on my skin more and then just kind of working my way down. And hopefully you can see this. Trying to lay it into the the pan or the cupcake liner so at least I can collect it. Okay, so what I might do is I might put a glitter piece or two here and there. So let's see if I can dig some. I'm grabbing more powder than anything. <laughs> on. Let's go back. Go back. There's a leaf. Let's get some tweezers. So I'm just going to randomly place them. Just a couple. I don't want too many. So... toothpick here. I'm going to encapsulate clear so they will lay down. Actually, I could probably even do one more thing and dip. Figure out. Oops. Don't 
the wispy. He doesn't want to go there. stuck to my <laughs> like, I don't even know how I got it there oh. okay hang on one sec okay so I added a couple little glitters here and there and then I did another coat over this one um, I'm gonna put clear on these I'm just gonna use the nail junkie crystal clear um, oh, let's, let's move stuff oh, I got glitter everywhere now <laughs> you just love that when you you're doing something you get with glitter and then glitters like everywhere. Okay. And then after this, I am going to activate and then I will file and buff. I'll do that off camera because it, this video is already way too long because I was farting around with um, with all of this. Encapsulate and clear, especially with glitter, just so I can um, file and buff and not file everything away. Okay, so let me go do that. Um, I'm going to put it on once this is dry. Okay, one moment. Okay, so I'm back. I filed, I buffed. I shaped my nails a little bit better. Um, kind of more coffin -y. Trying. I'm trying to, trying to get there. Uh, just looking for my... Everything ready. So I'm gonna just top coat. So first one, do super quick. And wipe off my brush. So that's it so far. So I 
the gradient's not too, too bad. I probably could have done a little bit better down the center. But overall, I mean, I like the colors. They actually go really well together. So I'm super excited. You know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not normally a green person, but this one, I don't know. It just, it's pretty. And it's got a shimmer in it. I don't know if you guys can see. But, um. Super pretty, I like it. Wipe, wipe, wipe. And you can kind of see my leaves. They kind of, they're a little. I gotta get better at doing that chunky chunky glitters but actually I don't mind the way they look I don't know if you guys can see I got a pretty flat and um, pretty thin so I'm pretty pleased that way but I actually kind of like the way that they're poking out they're so pretty like, they're like pink hollow so yeah so there you have it this is uh, Everly Nails, and this is, um, I didn't put the lid on, but Estes Park, and Mesa Verde. So I think it turned out really super pretty. I am really liking it. My shaping, I don't know, I like this one and this one. Not too bad. I'm getting better with this shaping. I think my, I gotta work on my ring finger a little bit more, but anyway, thanks for hanging out with me while I do my nails. Um, I hope uh, I didn't bore you too much. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe and doing well. And I love you guys. And stay tuned for pictures. And then of course, puppies, puppies. Um, so yeah, stay safe. Love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye.